Hello everyone, welcome to our TLE 7 class, quarter 2 week 2. This week we are going to discuss, 1. Safety procedures in farm operations, and 2. Hazards and risks in farm operations. Now this time, we're going to do an interactive activity to help us learn some important vocabulary related to different professions. I have a list of words here, and I will ask some of you to come up to the board and locate them. Yes, very good, we have agriculture. Next word, yes very good there is administrator. Next word, yes very good we have business. Next word, yes very good we have career. Next word, yes very good we have engineer. Next word, yes very good we have farmer. Next word, yes very good we have grower. Next word, yes very good we have manager. Next word, yes very good we have technician. Next word, yes very good we have scientist. And now, let's proceed with our lesson. From the following pictures, what can you say about this? For unlocking content vocabulary, which among the three important words do you think most valuable for us to maintain? Why? Explain in three to five sentences your response. 1. Hazard. 2. Risk. 3. Safety. Next we have. 1. Accident. It is an unexpected and unfortunate incident that occurs accidentally and causes hurt, damage, or injury. 2. Agricultural chemicals. These are chemical agents that are used to control crop harming organisms, like fungi, nematodes, mites, insects, and rodents or viruses, in the farm such as fungicides and insecticides. 3. Cleaning. It is the act or process of removing dirt from tools, containers and farm facilities. 4. Chemicals. It means the interaction between substances. It can be in the form of liquid, solid or gas. It can be from any pure substance or a mixture of different substances. 5. Disinfection chemicals. It refers to the chemical used in cleaning which has the ability to kill microorganisms especially pathogens. 6. Hazard. It can potentially harm or injure workers. In any workplace, hazard exists. 7. Over fatigue. Improper posture while harvesting the crops and using unguarded machineries are some of the common hazards. 8. Incident. It refers to any remarkable or interesting event or occurrence, whether intentional or unintended. 9. Near miss. It refers to an unanticipated event that almost harms persons or property but does not cause any injury or damage. 10. Occupational safety. These are safe practices related to production and work process in the workplace. 11. Safety. It is the physical or environmental conditions of work which comply with the prescribed occupational health safety, OS, standards and which allow the workers to perform his or her job without or within acceptable exposure to hazards. 12. Safety measures. It is an action or procedure that is designed to lower the occurrence or risk of injury, loss and danger to persons, property or the environment. 13. Risk. It is a situation involving exposure to danger, injury or loss. 14. Unsafe acts. These are activities or behaviors that depart from established safety norms, such as disobeying safety guidelines or failing to properly employ personal protection equipment. 15. Unsafe conditions. It include physical aspects within the workplace that have the potential to cause harm, such as poor housekeeping, insufficient lighting or ventilation, malfunctioning equipment, or inappropriate handling of hazardous products. On our yesterday's lesson, we studied about the different careers and job opportunities related to agriculture. Based on the photos that were presented a while ago, what do you think will be our lesson focus for today?
Now, let's talk about the occupational safety when in the farm. Occupational safety when in the farm is a safety practices set by farm owners that involves production and work process of farm workers. Farmers should always take extra measures to ensure their safety while working in the farm. Now, what about the hazard and risk in the farm? Hazards and risk in the farm. Farmers are exposed to a lot of risk, which can lead to major accidents or injuries. Risk is the possibility of a hazard to exist. It may cause injury or health problems. It is important that workers are properly trained and properly guided by the management. Hazard can potentially harm or injure workers. In any workplace, hazard exists. Over fatigue, improper posture while harvesting the crops, and using unguarded machineries are some of the common hazards. Now, here are the types of hazard. 1. Physical hazard. It includes weak platform, slippery stairs or floorings, falling objects, excessively loud music, prolonged vibration, poor ventilation, extreme temperatures, and poor air quality. 2. Mechanical hazard. It is caused by electrically operated machineries or devices that can cause electric shock or electrocution. Pressure vessels, tractors, and cranes are all used in farm operations. 3. Chemical hazard. These are typical of hazardous chemicals that can cause fire and explosion that came from pesticides, cleaning agents, acids, and poisons. Exposure to certain chemicals or improper handling and use of those chemicals can cause acute or long-term adverse health effects. Main classifications of chemical hazards include asphyxiants, corrosives, irritants, sensitizers, carcinogens, mutagens, teratogens, reactants, and flammables. Long-term exposure to chemical hazards such as silica dust, engine exhausts, tobacco smoke, and lead may result to increased risk of heart disease, stroke, and high blood pressure. Use of protective personal equipment, PPE, is advised because it may reduce the risk of damage from contact with hazardous chemicals and materials. 4. Biological hazard. It includes bacteria, viruses, mold, mildew, insects, and vermin, among others. 5. Psychosocial hazard. It is the stresses that farmers get from work, family, or even among friends. 6. Ergonomic hazard. It refers to any physical condition that can be experienced in the workplace due to incorrect body movements that can cause injury or other health concern that may affect musculoskeletal system causing aches and sprains that may appear not too serious at first but may develop into serious health problem which can cause permanent damage to the body. Now here are the chemicals and hazardous tools and equipment used for farm work. 1. Spraying chemicals. The use of fertilizers and pesticides are common in farming. These are used to control pests, weeds, and mollusks. Spraying is the most common method of applying chemicals. Farm owners consult local agriculturists for the appropriate chemicals to use in their crops. Here are some important things to remember when using chemical for the crops. 1. Do not attempt to spray if there is a strong wind and its direction is towards the body of water or a house. 2. Never wash the spray equipment with water running down into open drains or towards a dam. 3. Refrain from using used chemical containers. To reduce the risk of hazardous chemicals, do the following. 1. Appropriate PPE must be used. 2. Store the chemicals in locked cabinets or storage area. 3. Know the first aid procedures. 4. Provide a list of hazardous chemicals used in the farm. Land preparation using heavy equipment and implements. The use of mechanical equipment for land preparation like tractor might involve risks such as a person being run over by it. The tractor also has the tendency to overturn, especially if it is running too fast, or the operator makes a sharp turn, sudden swerve, or sudden stop. Here are some things to remember when using heavy farm implements. 1. Do not use a tractor for transportation. It is not a passenger vehicle. 2. Use a seat belt when driving a tractor. 3. Use of PPE can save the operator from serious injuries. To avoid possible hazard and risks in the farm PPE is advised. Safety is the physical environmental condition of work which complies with occupational health safety, O's, standards and which allows the farmers to perform their job without or within acceptable exposure to hazards.
One of the basic requirements to maintain these standards is the provision of PPE. This can reduce the number and severity of farmers related injuries and illnesses. Here are some of the personal protective equipment or PPE used in the farm. 1. Farm Respiratory Protection Since farmers use fertilizers and other chemicals, it is necessary for them to use respirators to protect themselves from inhaling mold spores and chemicals. Respirators must be properly selected, worn, and maintained to ensure maximum protection. 2. Eye Protection This is used to protect farmers' eyes from possible flying objects, liquid sprays, or other elements that may enter their eyes. There are several types of eye protectors like goggles and glasses with safety shields, among others. 3. Foot protection. A farmer's feet is one of the most exposed parts of the body during work. Wearing appropriate footwear protects the farmer from stepping on sharp objects or animal bites. It can also protect him, her from slipping. 4. Hand protection. Farmers use gloves to protect their hands from hazardous elements such as holding chemicals or removing infested crops. Use disposable gloves when dealing with infested crops. 5. Head protection. Since farmers are commonly exposed to heat of the sun, it is important for them to wear a hat. This is also necessary to protect their head from slip or fall. 6. Body protection. It comes in many forms, depending on the job. Farmers often wear long sleeve clothes and jeans. This is necessary to protect them from harmful elements. Here's the basic first aid during emergency situation and accidents in the farm. First, shock. 1. Do not give the victim anything to eat or drink. 2. Lay the victim on his, her back but do not move him, her if there is a neck or back injury. 3. Make sure that the victim gets adequate air. 4. Keep the victim warm. 5. Raise the victim's feet and legs with a pillow. 6. If the victim vomits, roll the victim on his, her side and keep the windpipe clear. Next, bleeding and wounds. 1. Place a clean cloth or gauze over the wound. Apply firm, steady pressure for at least 5 minutes. 2. Elevate an injured arm or leg above the level of the victim's heart if possible. 3. When bleeding stops, secure the cloth with a bandage. Do not lift the cloth from the wound to check if the bleeding has stopped. Be sure that the bandage is not too tight. 4. Check the victim for shock. 5. Use tourniquets only when you cannot control the bleeding. Next, chemical or compressed gas burns. 1. Use a drench hose, emergency shower, or eye wash for at least 15 minutes to rinse away all traces of chemicals while removing any contaminated clothing from the victim. 2. Cover the burn loosely with a clean, dry cloth or special burn dressing. 3. Check the victim for shock. Next, for heat or electric burn. 1. Submerge the burned area in cold, clean running water if the skin is not seriously affected. 2. Avoid applying cream or any form of ointment. Next, fainting. 1. Ordinarily, fainting victims immediately regain consciousness after. If this does not happen, the victim should immediately be brought to the emergency room. 2. For the first aid, the victim should be laid down on their back and allow plenty of fresh air. Apply cold compress in the forehead and if the victim vomits, keep the windpipe clear by rolling him to his, her side. Next, heat stroke. 1. Heat stroke is life-threatening so this should never be taken for granted. Flush, hot and dry skin, rapid pulse, very minimal perspiration, and unconsciousness are signs of heat stroke. 2. You need to bring the victim to a cooler place and lie him, her on the back with feet up, then loosen clothing and remove footwear. Apply cold compress or wet towel on the forehead, neck, armpit, and extremities to cool the victim. Treat the victim for shock or bring the victim to the nearest hospital.